Hello my fellow idiots and welcome to a new video. Uh, in this video we're going to be going over Docker, uh, what it's about, what it be used for and such and such. Uh, to get started, what is Docker? Docker is a container system where each bot has its own little home. Uh, think of it as putting a lunchbox in a fridge. Your bot is your lunch, stick in a lunchbox, stick in the fridge. The lunchbox is the bot's container and the fridge is the host. Uh, it's a contained little system, it has like an operating system, it has its own file structure and it cannot affect any other containers on the host. So that's basically what it is. Why would you need it in the first place? Well, it eliminates the quote unquote, it worked on my system problems because it, it just like unifies everything. If it, if it runs on Windows, runs on Linux, no problem, then you're fine. Uh, I will just say that I'm using and following a written guide by Nomzi. Uh, he's one of my patrons and he is on the discord.js server as well. Uh, he asked me nicely if I could uh, do tutorial and yeah, I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, full transparency, this is the second time I'm recording it. The last one I was a bit of a robot, uh, didn't really explain stuff properly and yeah, it was, it was a rough. But uh, to get started, I'm going to be doing this on my Raspberry Pi. So the actual installation will be slightly different. Actually, no, no let's not. Let's not full screen it. Let us. Do, 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 do. Was it one? I like it. One twenty by thirty. Okay. So just log in. All right, now I'm going to navigate to the desktop, uh, make the docker tutorial and, um, and cd docker tutorial. Oh uh, yeah, I, I forgot to remove it. Right, sorry, I had to, to quickly delete the folder. Make the directory and enter it. Now, I'm why I made the directory, but I haven't actually installed it. Uh, for, as I say, for the Raspberry Pi, let's first sudo apt get update and sudo, keep doing stars, and sudo apt get upgrade. That'll make sure the Pi is fully up to date. As you can see, it's whizzing through. There's some things that I've not updated. And when that's done, which should be in a minute or two, we'll move on to installing. Later. All oh, right, that has installed. Now let us actually install Docker. Now again, I'm installing Docker using a command for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, there'll be an annotation on the screen saying which command you should use to install Docker for an actual real host, such as DigitalOcean or OVH. Uh, CRL dash, I'm sure this is wrong, but SSL HTTPS get dot docker dot com SH. Yeah, as I said, that command is for the Raspberry Pi. So again, I'll return when this is finished installing. Uh. All right, uh, we're back. We've got a nice little warning on the screen, but I just want to double check. Uh, Docker version. Okay, Docker is installed, fantastic. But apparently, if you're just use Docker as a non-root user, so okay sudo user mod a g docker pi okay now i have to log off and log on for it to take effect okay one twenty 
by 30. Alright, pi. Login. Alright, let's just do a quick Docker version. Okay, Docker's installed. Fantastic. Right. Uh, the instructions teach you how to create the Docker file and all that on there, but I am going to leave that there for a minute. I'm going to minimize it. New folder to Docker tutorial and enter. Now, a lot of people are going to scream at me for being a traitor, but I'm going to open up with code instead of Atom. Now, I will say Atom does a lot of things that Visual Code doesn't and Visual Code does a lot of things that Atom doesn't uh, but uh, the only reason I'm using VS Code now is because of how fast it loads and the fact it actually comes with a terminal already installed so we want to get a bot so uh, where's my notes so we're not going to bother with the, the shitty little ping pong. We're just going to go straight up git clone uh, https github.com and idiots guide. Yes, you've guessed it. Guidebot.git. Not gif, git. All right. Guide bot is there, but we want to move that into this directory and delete the folder. All right, let's rename you to config.json and let's well, let's leave that forward for now. Uh, right now, we should make a Docker file. Docker file. Uh, close. All oh, right. Now we've got uh, we've got a bot, got a Docker file. Now we just need to fill it. In. Now, again, I'm using a Raspberry Pi, so I have to do it slightly different. But this part would be from node co uh, colon uh, latest. But I have to use something designed for a Raspberry Pi. Oh, I'm doing caps, don't need caps. H Y P right slash R P I node latest. Okay. Now. We want to run a command which is make directory p user source bot work da user source bot. Now there is a method I, I don't know off top of my hat, off my head. But there is a way you can just make a variable and call it multiple put multiple put. There is a way to make a variable and call it in multiple places instead of having to write the directory structure over and over again. Because you do write it a fair bit. Uh, copy package.json into user source. Or I'm just going to fucking copy copy that. They want to run npm install, but we also want to copy. No, not cop, copy uh, everything into that folder. Now we have one thing left to do, and that is command. Uh, node uh, index.js now that is everything you need for a docker file 
Now I'm just going to quickly make a brand new bot just so I can get its token for this example. Uh, create user bot, yes, do it. Uh, copy the token. Copy. Okay, config.json. Insert. Let me grab my user ID because that will give me earner status. Okay, config now. I'm just going to do a quick test. Make sure everything is hunky dory working. And whilst I do that, I'm going to invite the bot. Uh, invite the bot, add waiting for it to load, waiting for it to load crap um, yeah, I'll, well that's not my guild shit Right guys, uh, just had to quickly load up my other account. I'm just adding a super bot to my custodian testing server and there it is. Uh, let's look back at this. Okay, that's installed. Now, if I were to uh, load mod, which is good for development, bad for production, Okay, that should start up the bot, super bot, uh, ping, there we go, super bot is working, fantastic. So we know the bot works, okay, now what we have to do is transfer everything to the Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm pretty sure I covered this in my first Raspberry Pi video, uh, but you know, FTP client, uh, desktop, docker, no, not junk, docker tutorial, there we go. And we shall basically drag everything from here. There goes my son, my beautiful son, and drop it in here. Okay, yeah, that's everything in there. Okay, CD desktop. That's case sensitive. Doc tutorial. NPM install in there. I don't want to test the bot. See if it's working. So close this terminal. And actually, we can close that for now. We don't need it now. But yeah, I'll be back when this is finished installing, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, that took forever. This is why you don't do shit on the pie. I'm going to leave the episode there, guys, because I've been recording for about half an hour. And I need to condense this episode way, way down. But next episode, I'm going to show you how to install the container. Well, install the container, install the bot run the container, uh, how to access the container, and how to see the containers all off. Stay tuned for episode two of the Docker mini series, and please, if you like the episode, leave a thumbs up. If you love the episode, please subscribe. If you want to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description and on the end slate, and I'll see you guys in part two. Bye for now.